9, 10 o'clock, and they go across the Manhattan Bridge so you can see the Brooklyn, down to this park on the right in Brooklyn, which is a brand new park. That was a very desolate riverfront until a few years ago. And they look over at this view and understand this view is uninterrupted by advertising. None of these buildings have signs. The exception is the Verizon building, and that is north of the Brooklyn Bridge. But everything south of the bridge is completely, although man-made, obviously, urban, pure of advertising in a city like New York with so much advertising. Is that by purpose? Yeah. Is it a mandate? Okay. It's mandated. It's mandated that they had no advertising in the same way that in Times Square, if you own a building, you must have advertising. And there are very specific rules about how elaborate that advertising has to be in Times Square. But you've seen that. There's a little bit of work being done on the Brooklyn Bridge. It's cosmetic, just to keep masonry or metal from falling onto the boats, just like you see scaffolding in Midtown, to keep the pedestrians safe. When the bridge was built, P.T. Barnum led elephants across it to prove its durability. Why the skyline down here is the great New York skyline, although it doesn't contain the Empire State Building or the Chrysler Building, uh, is that the streets here are so narrow. This is where New York began. So they're very narrow, they meet at odd angles, everything is very close together. Whereas Midtown, you see, 